What's up everyone? Today we're going to show you this newly completed flip in Richmond, California. And my good friend Tom Tran is going to be on the show again. He and his team just completed this flip. Tom, can you tell us about this flip? Yeah, yeah. So welcome back. Welcome back from the last video we did before. This is the after. So I'm excited to show you guys all the remodel that we did. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing the before and after, mm -hmm. check out this video here. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this was a nice quick flick, uh, flip. We, we put in about 60,000 or so, 60,000 to remodel the whole house, uh, the outside, and everything for 60,000. That's really cheap. Yeah. I don't think I've ever spent that little on a flip <laughs> before. Really? Yeah. yeah. So how, how were you able to control the budget? Yeah, so this one, luckily the house is small, so we don't need that many materials. Mm -hmm. And then all of our materials are very inexpensive. So the flooring and everything we'll show you on the inside mm -hmm. is super inexpensive, but it looks good. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Yeah, so... Yeah, it, it, especially because yeah. this house is in Richmond, and yeah. Richmond is a lower price point area. So when you flip the house, you don't want to spend too much money on the flip, and yeah. then you probably won't get the money back. That's it, why exactly. it, it makes sense to use materials that are cheaper but look good so mm -hmm. that you can ha still have very good return. Exactly, exactly. So we went super budgets, um, mm -hmm. even the landscaping mm -hmm. is just mulch. So landscaping mm -hmm. was about 1500 for labor. Yeah, mulch the landscaping the looks so much better. Yeah. I remember it was a... <laughs> All dirt. Yeah, <laughs> pile and of trees dirt. trees and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. you put new mulch and new plants. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, very welcoming. Very welcoming. And yeah. It, and it helps you have nice neighbors. So our nice neighbor put this cool wall um, to separate. Re new retaining, retaining wall. wall. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. And then what about the house? What did you do on the exterior? Exterior, we just painted the house. Mm -hmm. So last time we wanted to pick a nice white color. Yeah. But then we had so much extra paint. We had oh. like, like 10 gallons of extra paint. And then we just mixed it. Gray color paint. <laughs> it was gray, and uh -huh. it was light gray, dark gray, and then we yeah. kind of mixed it together. Okay. And then it turned out like this. It looks nice. Yeah, yeah so it's we, very modern. Uh huh. We invented because, a new color. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice color. <laughs> it's not bad, right? Yeah. It kind of looks like our neighbor. It's kind of like a grayish, uh -huh. warm grayish color. Yeah, gray yeah. is very popular. And uh -huh. I like the pop of color, the door. Is oh, you like the nice, color? Yeah, nice blue door. <laughs> <laughs> That's called Princess Kate or something. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a very cute. girly color. <laughs> yeah. And you replaced the garage door too? Yeah, new garage door. So that, I think that was like 2000 for the door and the labor. Okay. Or 1500. I want to say 1500 for yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, for a new garage door. Yeah, the garage was boarded up and that was yeah. unsightly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, new garage door, new paints, uh -huh. uh, new probably, windows. New windows. New yeah. windows. Yeah. So, new windows throughout the whole house. New windows make a big difference. Uh huh. New yeah, windows. Cool. And uh, yeah, you want to see the inside? Yeah, let's okay. go. All right. So now we're inside the house. The house looks so different. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe you said how long did it take? Uh, for six you? weeks for oh, a wow, whole house Oh wow, it only took six weeks. It's really, mm -hmm. really fast. Yeah. Yeah, so what did you do in this living area? Yeah, so um, we remodeled everything and we, uh -huh. we took down a little counter area. Okay. You know, like old houses have a little counter area in the uh -huh. kitchen. We took that down, so it's nice and open now. Uh huh. Um, but we have to keep that post because that's what's holding up the beam. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Like the there is a this post uh -huh. so that you keep the post and the right. header so yeah. that you can save some money. Exactly. It doesn't need to be. Um, didn't have to hire a structural engineer. Is, and, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have to put in a big beam. Right. Right. Yeah. So we kept kept the the same header uh -huh. and then just took out this little section right here. Yeah. Yeah. So there used to be like a little like a fake wall here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So so that way you save some money but still achieve open concept. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's so very smart. Keep the post. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. It's like you still can see like yeah. from the kitchen you can still see the living room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. So the kitchen looks really nice now. I remember last time we were here it was all unfinished and all <laughs> uh, just like 
rough electrical and plumbing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we have to rip everything out. We just uh -huh. rip everything out, put some new electricals. Uh -huh. So it's all nice and new with GFCI, so it's up yeah. to code. Uh -huh. um, and then we put new cabinets. Yeah, these cabinets look great. Yeah. I think darker cabinets are really popular now. Yeah, this is our first time we tried darker cabinets since uh -huh. our contractor had a lot of extra cabinets. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, so he, <laughs> he just sold it to us for a really low price. Okay. For like 2500 bucks. Okay. For all new cabinets. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And these are like shaker style too. Yeah, shaker style with a little line. So mm -hmm. it's like a wannabe shaker. A little <laughs> more, more um, elaborate. Yeah, yeah, a little more detail. Uh huh. Um, and they look really good with against the marble countertops. Yes. So the marble is four hundred dollars each slab. Okay. Four hundred dollars, and luckily we had one extra one. Okay. So we had one extra one from our last product. Uh huh. We just mix it up with one new one. Nice, and I like the subway tile. You like the like subway? Really big yeah, subway big tiles. <laughs> very clean. Yeah, rectangle very modern. style. Um, yeah. Those are from Lowe's for only like I think a dollar each or something. I, okay. I, yeah, I think very a dollar budget each. friendly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. And these um, black hardware. Yeah, black hardware okay. makes it makes it pop out. Yeah. Yeah. Look nice. That's, I think that's from Amazon. Oh so really? Amazon's only like hundred bucks. Oh really? And then the <laughs> sinks from Amazon. Okay. Yeah, I like how the, they have all the extra pieces yeah. for the sink now. Yeah. There's the. It's this like for you out. to dry your um, utensils, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's a chopping board. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even have that at home. I want that same sink now. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> it's like multi-function. Mm -hmm. So before we show you more of this flip, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see more before and after videos like this. So Tom, tell us more about this floor. It looks amazing. Yeah, these floors were the first time we tried it and uh, we really like it. These are luxury vinyl floors. So it's actually not hardwood, it's but not it hardwood. looks like hardwood floor. <laughs> yeah, it does. It has a nice grain, nice color. Uh -huh. It's only like $2 a square feet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah I, I remember you mentioned that, but mm -hmm. it, it looks really nice after it's all done. Yeah. It makes the space look so much bigger. It looks bright. Yeah, uh -huh. it looks bright and cozy, kind of like a beach house in a way. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll probably keep on using this forever until it runs out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it looks so much like the expensive European uh -huh, oak. Uh -huh. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. And it kind of matches the wall color. Uh -huh. So this is another mixture of leftover paint. <laughs> yeah, this is Swiss coffee mixed with like buttercream or something. Okay. Yeah, we had a lot of extra Swiss coffee, a lot of uh -huh. extra cream for our other house in Pacifica. Mm -hmm. So we just stirred it up. Okay. And it turned out like this. <laughs> so it's a custom paint custom. color. <laughs> nice. That's right. One Very of the kind. creative. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So in the living room, I see that you put in a lot of recess lights. Yeah, so the recess light is all new. And um, how we did that is we started we started buying slim recess lighting. Mm -hmm. Because the that way you don't need a can. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it saves a lot of time. And you so don't a, have little to, a little cheaper too. A little cheaper. Cheaper and faster. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's so awesome. You, you can buy those on Amazon. So six inch, 100 okay. pack or, or 20 pack is like 100 bucks or something. Okay. Yeah. Great. Cool, yeah, the living room looks so bright and mm -hmm. so open. Yeah, much bigger now, huh? Yeah, it feels really, really nice and inviting. Yeah. So this is the bathroom in the house, the only mm -hmm. one, right? Only one bathroom. Yeah. So we have to make it really nice. But it looks amazing now. <laughs> yeah, I really like this vanity. Yeah, Where this, did you get it from? This is from uh, Wayfair. Okay. It's from Wayfair, I think it's like $500. So it's a prefab vanity. Yeah, it came with everything except for the faucet. Okay. We just bought the faucet at uh, Home Depot. Yeah, cool, so, yeah, it's a nice style. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool style. It actually came with legs, but we wanted to make it floating because it's a small bathroom. Uh huh. So we didn't install the legs. Okay. We just, we just um, drilled it on the, the wall on the stud. Mounted on the wall. Mounted on the, yeah. Cool. So now it's a wall mounted vanity. So that's a new way to get a um, floating vanity uh -huh. without spending a thousand dollars. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. Mm -hmm. And I like that uh, you put in an LED mirror. You it's like the very, light? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice glowing effect. Uh huh. Yeah, but make sure you have electrical in the back. Right. We always forget that. <laughs> right, yeah, you mentioned that last time. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, a very nice modern feature mm -hmm. that a lot of buyers would find it 
cool yeah. because they don't see right, right. a lot of those yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I think right? they're gonna get big. They're gonna get yeah, more even popular. more popular. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And the shower looks the the shower and tub look really nice. Yeah. So so we um we wanted to save money and we put those vinyl tiles. So these are actually the vinyl tiles. Is, exactly. These are the vinyl tiles. You don't have to put grout. You uh -huh. don't have to put mortar and all that like tiles. They look really good and mm -hmm. you can't tell that they are not like uh, they come in big pieces, right? Yeah, they come in small, 12 by 24. Oh, actually and then small pieces. You put them on like flooring. It's kind okay. of like a laminate flooring so on the wall. you glue it to the wall. Exactly, just glue it to the wall. Okay, they look really good. And yeah. I like the um, marble like marble patterns. Marble feel. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's uh, I think it was $4 square feet. It's a little bit expensive, but you save money on the labor. Mm. Yeah, less yeah, labor. I think like uh, with the shower tile installation actually costs more mm -hmm. than the tile itself. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The labor for tiles is expensive and it takes a long time. It takes two, three days mm -hmm. to let it dry. And I like the black hardware. It, yeah. They look really good yeah. against the, the shower tiles. Good contrast, right? Mm -hmm. Red, white and black. Yeah. Awesome. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This bedroom looks so cozy. Yeah. You guys did a really nice job here. Oh, thank you. Uh, we actually uh, staged it ourselves because we have a lot of furniture. Okay. And we just staged it ourselves with our team, Paige, and uh, everyone. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, like, you have staging in house too. Yeah, we save a lot of money because staging, they charge around two or three thousand. But with two or three thousand, you can just buy all the furniture already and wow. reuse it every time. That's, that's smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, some viewers ask me. Like because when I sell my properties, I usually have furniture in their staging mm -hmm. all done too. But um, I the furniture actually doesn't go with the sale. Yeah. It's actually a staging service that I use that mm -hmm. I pay for. It's like renting furniture and accessories yeah. to uh, dress up the house so that the buyers can visualize yeah. how they can make use of the space. And I think it's really smart for you guys to, to make it all in-house mm -hmm. so that you have the furniture and because you flip a lot of houses so you can just reuse the furniture again and again. That's right. Mm -hmm. And don't so have to pay for it. Yeah, don't have to pay for it over and over. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. And I really like the style. It's <laughs> a little rustic. Rustic, farmhouse-y. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. You like our life from Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> Twenty dollars or something. Oh really? Wow, it's so cheap. <laughs> yeah, but nice. it looks okay, huh? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, and new windows, mm -hmm. so all new windows, mm -hmm. um, casing. So mm -hmm. we learned how to save money on the casing now. So it's a very simple design, so anyone can do the cut. Mm -hmm. So before we used to make like a what's that called when it goes out? Oh, like a window sill. Yeah, window sill, and then it goes out on the side right here. Uh huh. We used to do that, but now we just do nice forty-five degree cuts. I think this style is actually more popular now. Really? Like, only older homes have the window sill. Yeah, yeah. Like newer homes, it's all like same trim all around the window. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's actually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so it saves money and it looks good. Uh huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, the backyard looks completely different. I remember it was full of junk last time. That's right. It was full of junk and a lot of trees and plants and everything. Uh -huh. And like yeah. 10 ladders. It's, it's all, all so in the backyard. So you guys cleaned it all up. Yeah, we cut everything out. So I cut all the, the plants and trees, uh -huh. put some mulch. So this was part of that 1500 landscaping bid. Oh, it's front and backyard front and all back. inclusive. Yeah. $1,500. That's really, really good price. Mm -hmm. I think if you put uh, a lawn yeah. here, it would cost like three, four thousand dollars. Yeah, much more. Yeah. yeah, much more. And then uh, materials was only like five hundred bucks mm -hmm. for materials. Yeah. So when you want to save cost on landscaping, you mm -hmm. can use mulch, and you can use some plants. Yeah, some little small plants. To dress plants. it up a little bit. And That's right. I see that you put all new fence here. Yeah, new fencing, new uh -huh. fencing. Since we had to block off this uh, backyard to the backside because it's a train station. Right. Yeah, so new fencing, 
So um, it feels a little more private here. More private, exactly. It's a very small lot, 3,000 mm -hmm. square feet lot, mm -hmm. but it uh, feels like decent size back here now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very, very good space for, for them to use as mm -hmm. in outdoor entertaining. Yeah. And in other yeah. words, to save money, if, if you don't want to put a new fence, you can paint the fence, see? Oh, you we painted, just painted it? it. It's only like $100 <laughs> to buy paint, and then you just brush the paint. Oh, wow. But it looks new, right? Yeah, I can't it, tell. Yeah, it's, it's falling over over there, <laughs> but it's, it looks new. Need a little repair, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't tell that it's old. Yeah. Cool. Tom, thank you so much for showing us this project. Absolutely. Yeah, can you share with us the numbers? Sure. We bought this house for uh, 330, 330, so very low price point for the Bay Area. Yeah, so it's really, <laughs> really good price. Yeah. In the Bay Area, you can't find anything less than like I don't, 500. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 600,000 is like a, a steal. Right, right. Yeah, if you can find it, but yeah. this is like much more affordable here. Yeah, super affordable. So mm -hmm. we have to keep our repairs low as well. Mm -hmm. So we budgeted about 60,000. And you were able to house. stay within the budget? Yeah, we were able to stay within the budgets. Um, we save a lot of money on paints. Mm -hmm. So use a lot of leftover paints. Mm -hmm. uh, we use some leftover baseboards. Mm -hmm. We use the leftover marble countertop. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it is just from our other products, just putting it in. Um, since it's a small house, mm -hmm. so we don't need that much materials. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Materials, like you save so much money on mm -hmm. that. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, so we bought for 330 put in 60 uh -huh. um, We're aiming to hit about mid 500s. Okay. So 550 um, So let's say the total cost is 400 uh -huh. Sell it for 550 We have 150000 gross. Uh, yeah, profit. that's a very good margin. Yeah, decent yeah, margin. Yeah, for this size of small investment, uh -huh. 150000 that's a very big, yeah. very big return. Right, yep. So hopefully we can we can hit 550. It's a very small house. It's only yeah. two bedroom, one bath, uh, 800 square feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck with the sale. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, thank, thank you, you so much for, for being on the show and for sharing all your tips and tricks. Yeah, come back anytime <laughs> and help us find a buyer. <laughs> Cool. I hope you enjoyed this episode and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. All right. See you guys. Bye.